What's going on, guys? Listen, I'm not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. I'm your motivation guy. That's right, guys. It's me, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, I just want to say this. Like, in order to be great, in order to really make it to, like, the greatest height that you could imagine, it's going to take patience and it's going to take perseverance. It's going to take you grinding no matter what. Michael Jordan, he's the greatest basketball player who ever lived, right? He got cut from his high school basketball team. But that summer, he just worked and grinded and worked and grinded. And, and he got back and he became amazing. And so this is what we have to do. No matter where you're at, keep grinding. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're going to be great. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys four high ground retakes that are nearly impossible to master. These retakes are so advanced, they're probably going to blow your mind. All right. You're probably asking yourself right now, like, all right, well, when will I ever use this in game? Well, the truth is, you're probably not. But I know a lot of you creative players will. But listen, it doesn't matter if you're, you're you know, you're, you're in creative. This video is gonna help you guys out tremendously. There's so many building fundamentals that you guys uh, can use in your games. Bunch of Crunch Army, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, I wanna see who's the loudest, man. It's time to scream this out. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this going. I need to restock. I think I'm running out. Make sure that you hit and like that subscribe button right now. Okay, so my question for you today is, who is your favorite creative player? You know, I've been a fan of Sway since the beginning, but let me know in the comments if there are any underrated players we should check out. And of course, you know, real quick, if you're looking for a way to improve really, really fast, ProGuys.com can help you guys out. Our website has exclusive video courses and live streams by top pros and just one session with our pro coaches can do wonders and help you guys find the areas you need to improve on. Visit ProGuides.com or click the link in the description to get started. All right, let's begin with a quick and flashy retake by Team Parallel Cirque. This one does a fantastic job of misdirecting your opponent while at the same time establishing that all important piece control. Just like most other retakes, you want to start off with a scissor ram. Then place a cone on the floor ahead of you. Edit both tiles on the right side of the floor. From there, place a wall to the right and edit its bottom left corner. Then jump and quickly place these builds in order. A cone, a wall, ramp, floor. Remember that pattern, guys. Cone, wall, ramp, floor. You got it? Good. Make sure you're moving up the ramp while you do this, okay? And here, I mean like right here, you're gonna be doing the same two edits you did at the first cone, but this time on the left side. Follow up with a wall and edit just like you did at the start. After that, jump out, place a cone, and move your crosshair left while placing two walls, a ramp, and a floor above you. Once you've gotten that down, edit the two far tiles of the floor and the left corner of the cone, and again, place another wall you're gonna edit through. And here, and I mean like right here, you're gonna do a traditional triple edit. Okay, so ramp forward, placing a cone and floor ahead. First edit the floor, then the cone, but immediately after, place a wall and edit through that as well. Finally, from here, you can do pretty much whatever you want. <laughs> Cirque does some fancy cone edits, but a traditional 90 or even a 180 will work just as well. If you want to perfect this retake or any of the ones in this video, my word of advice, guys, is take it slow. Grind individual sections repeatedly until you feel like, you know, you got it down. Because, I mean, yes, out of this world mechanics are required, but if you spend time on it, you're slowly going to develop those mechanics. You go too fast and you're going to burn yourself out. So, please, guys, listen to your motivation guy. Take it slow, my friends, and I'm sure you will get there. All right, guys, so next up, a pretty unique style of retake by a YouTuber named Savvy. This one used a ton of walls to keep you safeguarded. And compared to some of the others we're gonna show you, it's actually not that difficult once you get the crosshair movement down. To do it, again, start with the scissor ramp and lead into a cone and floor. As you approach, edit the two left tiles of both pieces. Then quickly place a wall in front of you and a cone on top of the edited one. Switch back to your wall and here, you're gonna jump while doing a sweeping motion to the right. Make sure you jump from the top of your ramp because when you place that third wall, you're going to attach a ramp and catch yourself with it. After you land, you want to immediately place one wall on top of your ramp and one to the left of it. Then take out your cone, put that on top of the two walls, attaching a second cone to it as well. Once you place that, jump toward it, look at your right, place two walls there, then a third one attached at a 90 degree angle. Finish off by catching yourself with the ramp, 
then editing out of the cone into some 90s or 180. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be honest, you know, it's not the most impossible retake out there. You know, maybe six out of 10 for difficulty, but the protection it offers guys is so good. We just had to share it. If you wanna make it harder, there are extra pieces you can fill in like a wall and a floor at the end. All right, guys, you gotta make sure you stick around because these next two retakes, guys, woo, we're gonna take things up a notch. For retake number three, we have a work of art by creative genius, BH Motion. Ideally, you wanna start this one when you're boxed up and execute it with your opponent behind you. That way, it's gonna keep you fully protected and you should be able to take height no problem. So first things first, all right, start with one ramp on the bottom and one at the top. Then place a cone on the top ramp, look to the left and put another cone. From here, and I mean like right here, jump toward the cone while turning left and quickly put down a wall, a floor, and a ramp. Then edit the right corner on your floor and attach a wall to the cone. If your crosshair is pointed too low here, then your wall won't reach and you're gonna block yourself off. So make sure to aim closer to the center of the cone rather than below it. But once you've gotten that wall down, you're gonna jump while turning left and put down a floor and ramp to perform an elevated side jump. This is where a lot of us mess up. Anyway, from here, point at the center of your ramp to place a cone above your head. Take out your wall and attach two walls to the cone. Then do another elevated side jump, but this time, just go forward and don't turn left. At this point, your opponent should be completely lost and you should have height. But if you wanna continue, you can attach a ramp above your head and repeat the beginning of this retake. So, the same two cones jumping into a wall, floor, ramp, editing the floor, and placing a wall. Side jumping, another cone, two walls, and a normal side jump. And that's pretty much the gist of this one. BH motion does take it a bit further, which you can totally do as well, but for the purposes of taking high ground, this far is usually more than enough. Also, a side note, if you're using any of these retakes in a creative battle, you're typically are not gonna wanna do the whole thing. If at any point you spot your opponent and think you've got an opening, then you should just stop and go for it. Because the point of these retakes, guys, is to make you unpredictable while you gain height over your opponent. And usually, you don't need to perform this entirely to achieve that purpose. Coming in hot, here we go. We've got a signature retake by Chronic's 1v1 legend, Physics. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Physics, but this dude is on an entirely different level. <laughs> and he uses some variation of his retake here in nearly every build fight. So, yet again, we're gonna start with the scissor ramp into a comb. You can add a floor here as well. But for the sake of making this retake easier, you can ignore that for now. Anyways, follow up by attaching a wall to the right side of the cone. And from here, you're going to be looking to place a cone on top of that wall. It seems impossible at first, but as long as you're close enough and you position your crosshair correctly, right underneath the wall, there should be room for it to place. Once you've got that cone placed, perform an elevated side jump. If you're having trouble, the best tip that I can give you is to run out at almost at a 45 degree angle. Quickly flick your crosshair to the right, then place your floor and ramp. Now, let's pause for a second, all right? Because technically, you don't have to place that tricky cone above your wall. You could do your side jump, then place a cone when you land. However, that does leave a split second opening for anyone above you to attack, which is exactly why Physics chooses to place his cone before side jumping. But yeah, anyways, you know, once you land, your cone should be directly above you. Repeat the same wall and cone just like earlier, but this time, guys, on the left side. Then proceed with another elevated side jump. After that, edit the right corner of your cone and place two walls adjacent to each other. Edit the wall to your right open and attach a ramp to the top of it. Now, this is where it gets even crazier. You're gonna jump out and place not two, not three, but four walls. Attach the first cone to the ramp, one more below it, then sweep your crosshair toward the right to add the last two. After the fourth wall is placed, move your crosshair back so it's pointed in the direction you are jumping and land on a ramp. Not only are individual steps of physics retake here incredibly hard, but piercing them together at full speed is where this retake becomes overwhelming. Still, it does offer incredible protection nearly every step of the way, making it one of the best advanced retakes we've seen. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap up this video. I just wanna say that you're probably not gonna perfect these techniques in a day, all right? Let's 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 be honest. <laughs> but that's because they really are difficult. They're jam-packed with so many techniques. I mean, even learning some of those can take a while, right? But don't get discouraged. Take it step by step. You can do it. Just breathe, have patience, enjoy the journey. 
I know a lot of us, we want to just be killing stuff overnight, but you have to enjoy the journey. Do it at your own pace and make sure to pay attention to things like crosshair and character positioning, as well as build timing and piece order. Just remember, they say Rome wasn't building today. And that applies to these high ground retakes too. And while it may take some time, every minute you put into, it's gonna pay off at the end. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Wanna inspire you guys to be great every single day, not only in this game, but also in life. I believe in you, make me proud. Do the things that you're supposed to do, man. And uh, yeah, let's live without regret. Let's 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 have fun. Let's enjoy our lives. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video because you know if you found these retakes helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also check out the players whose retakes we use and drop them some love too. You can find their channels down below in the description. Shout out to these four creative masterminds for sharing their incredible high ground retakes. Check out the channels, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace out.